I feel like I have the right fabric. So, hello everyone, my name is Juliette Uzel and I have been challenged by Chi to use a meter of Anne Cara fabric to create something wearable. Well, we're both challenging each other and this is a collaboration video between the both of us. So when you're done watching my challenge, please do not forget to watch her video. Her video will be linked in the description box below so you can see what she's created with one meter of African wax fabric. So if you're ready to find out what I'm able to do with one yard, I keep saying one meter, one yard of African wax fabric, something wearable, let's do this. Right, where's my measuring tape? <laughs> Measuring tape found, let's measure it. I have my measuring tape right here. So we need to get up to 36 inches. There's 36 inches. Again, focus, 36 inches. Oh, I bet you it's less than, oh, it's more than one. Am I allowed to cheat? No. That's one meter. Sorry, that's one yard. So I'm just gonna cut, cut the fabric. Right, I have one yard of African wax fabric. <sighs> I'm literally shaking. I don't think I can do it. I just need to make something wearable. I know right from the start, I want to use this to make a sleeveless jacket, just something sleeveless. But I don't know if this will be long enough for that. I want it to like sit above my hip, but looking at this, I don't think that would work. I'm gonna lean it against myself and it gets up to just about my waist level. So I guess we just have to make do. I don't think I'll be able to get collars out of this. It might just have to be a collarless, just like what I'm wearing, a collarless sleeveless jacket. It'll be lined. Um, I might just make it a bit more um, interesting by having ties on the side with D-rings, just to add that extra bit, you know, of juge. <laughs> okay.
done here <laughs> oh my goodness it's been a very interesting one but I think I've got it in the end and this needs a very very good steam press and I need to trim off this excess there I don't need to um, to finish off the raw edges because it will get lined this is going to be hidden away anyway because the other flap on the other side is going to overlap it so it won't show thinking oh. oh do i even have spare needles that's the question now i need to find the missing bits inside jeez look at that my goodness i thought we were past this stage <laughs> i actually cannot see the missing part of the needle so now i have to figure out how to undo this life is gonna be great Inches later. At this point, I was ready to create the lining. So, using the same pattern that I used for the main fabric, I had to create a facing and a lining. The um, upper part of the back bodice was the facing, which was going to be cut using the main fabric, and the bottom half of it would have been cut out using lining fabric.
of my stash so I need to look through these linings and select the one that is the most suited for my fabric and we will cut out the lining pieces and get sewing properly I think um, out of the four of them I mean we've got this fabric here and mm, not too keen Let's look at these two. Oh no, won't work. And um, this blue, I know it has a touch of blue in it, but this blue is a bit too far off. And this one here. Okay, so here I have, this is under one meter. Look, I have under one meter of this lining fabric, but because um, I'm trying to use up scraps, um, I mean, the rest of these ones here have one one and a half meter and above. So I'm gonna pa pack these ones away. <laughs> I'll pack these ones away and I'll use this one here because it's just in in you know it it's in line with the whole theme of the video at the end of the day. I totally forgot that these little tabs that I have just um, inserted here are actually supposed to have D-rings in them. So I have I have four D-rings, yes, but guess what? <sighs> two are silver and two are like bronzy kind of gold. They're not really gold gold. So, well, 
Let me tell you the reason why I don't think they're gold gold. Wait. I have these ones. These ones are more gold to me than these ones. I actually have four of these, but these are quite large. In fact, they're too big. Um, I think they will not work. <laughs> They'll weigh down the jacket. No. The best thing to do would be to have the silver and gold together. Um, it's a design feature. <laughs> we'll go with that. <laughs> Why you wanna run away? Why you gotta be afraid? I wish I could make you stay. Cause baby, I love you. Why you tryna be? Trying to build it up I wish I could make you stop Cause baby I love you Guess I'm gonna dance alone tonight I'm gonna miss your body You know I can never get it right Without you, no I don't wanna step into the light If I don't get you shoddy You bring out the sweetness of my life Oh yeah Come on and give me that I decided to fold up the hems I went with a 2.5 centimeter hem which is the same as one inch and um, after pressing the hem I oh I needed to make sure that the the vent at the back um, had the hems aligned properly after checking all of that I was ready to attach the lining so okay so this lining is shorter than the main fabric just so that the lining fabric will not show on the right side of the jacket. So what I've done here is I've just turned it around to make sure that the lining does not show at all when you turn it inside out. And when I saw that it won't show, I then went back round to pin the rest of the lining onto the main fabric. But then I didn't pin one side of the vent in order to um, bag out the rest of the jacket and when I say bag out I actually mean like turn it inside out but look I made a mistake there because I joined it at the wrong place so I had to do some unpicking at this point but after unpicking I started by pinning pinning the lining onto the vent from the top side of the vent and then joining it onto the hem of the jacket after that I just stitched all around the entire jacket 
and <laughs> remember to take away the pins as I went and you'd see that I'm actually sewing all around even around the the armhole and the reason for that is because it's an open jacket if you know what I mean you'll see how it would look in the end but I really enjoyed making this jacket. It involved a lot of um, challenges, especially around the vent and the lining. But in the end, you will see. how do I look? I really like the way I look actually <laughs> because this works with the white blouse or the white shirt and that was the vision I had to start with. I know that I will be making this again because um, I don't really like the length. No, I like the length but I don't love it. The next one I'll make will be a bit longer. It'll be about just grazing above the, grazing around the hip, yeah, lower hip. No, just the head, you know, mid hip. And it would be, it would have more room around the armhole. I might even be able to undo this. I might unpick it and lower the armhole. Uh, apart from that, oh, <laughs> and I would have um, D rings the same color, like silver or gold together. Um, apart from that, I really like this. I really like this. Oh, can I tell you one more thing I'm going to do? If I am to make this again, I would have a collar. Should I share that video? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let me know if you want me to share that video. I'll do it again on the channel here. And it will be using African wax fabric and Cara fabric. But this was a great challenge. It did challenge me, especially with the pattern making process, changing the actual pattern into a lining pattern. That I found quite tricky. I also found it tricky getting into the pattern after bagging it out to do the under stitching around the neckline and the armhole to make sure the fabric lies flat. Um, what else did I find tricky? I also found the back slit tricky because I haven't done one of these in a very long time. So I will do this again. Let me know in the comment section if you would like me to try it one more time um, with colors. My goodness, that would be a challenge and a half. That would take me two weeks to make because I always make, you, you, you could probably tell that every day from like, like the, my garments or my outfits change as I went throughout the days because I don't make a video in one day. You probably already know that from my previous videos. But yes, um, if you do say you want to get that video, I will make it. 
It will take a while to make, but in the end, it will be up on the channel. But thank you very much, Chi, for um, challenging me to this amazing video challenge project whatever it is <laughs> and um i hope you watch cheese one i'm actually going to go now and watch cheese challenge to see how she or to see what she made using one yard of african wax fabric this was a fun challenge i enjoyed it and i hope you enjoyed watching and i hope you're inspired to use that one yard or one meter you have left lying around to make something else i hope you enjoy the rest of your day as well all the very best take care Bye. Now, where is the, ba um, the basket for the blankets? It's there. <laughs> that's all I have left, by the way. <laughs> you remember this? This got ripped. Well, that's that was it, and I did not use it. I was tempted. I was really tempted to use this, but I didn't use it. And there. There we are. There we are. I don't know what to do with this. I'll probably make a headband using this one. Ooh, I just got an idea.